Hi Bon. Today we are going to discuss about the temperature control of resistant furnace. Earlier we learned about the resistant furnace. Now today we are going to discuss about the temperature. How to control the temperature of resistant furnace. That the resistant furnace. The temperature of the resistant furnace can be changed by controlling I square R or V square upon R losses and this is the uh, for the theoretically that the power equation can be applied to the control of the temperature and there are some method for the controlling the temperature for beginning intermittent intermittent switching intermittent that is uh, the, this is sim, a very simple method in this met, in this method the furnace voltage is switch on and off intermittently intermittently then I can give an example for electric iron there is a thermostat there by metallic strips it can be control the temperature of the iron and also uh, that, that is a very simple example for any other electric iron also can be control the temperature using intermittent system number two by changing by changing the number of heating element change in the number two change in the number of heating element heating element how to change uh, that some electric heating resistant heating can be used several uh, resistant element they are connected in uh, connected uh, different ways for for example for the electric oven can be change the heating using how many number of element are used that the change in number of heating element this also can be easy to do then number three number three variation in circuit configuration variation in circuit com configuration that the most most of electric furnace use three phase supply three phase supply that the this is for star connected system and this is delta connected system that the if you want more heat you can connect it to the delta system and this is a star system uh, this two method and single phase supply that they can be used for resistant element can be used series of parallel systems this is the another method and for the there are I mentioned in this paper there are all method you can you can note down it it's a five method other method for the auto transformer method auto transform auto transform method auto transformer method is the auto transformer auto transformer this is the furnace 
it's the furnace this is the furnace and auto transformer that the auto transformer can can uh, discretion furnace voltage decreasing the temperature or increasing then the voltage increase then the temperature go high and the voltage decrease the temperature go below that is the um, that is the method for uh, auto transformer method and uh, please remember that one then I am going to start another heating system for dielectric heating dielectric heating what is dielectric that is a paravidduttapane dielectric heating these are the system now I can explain what is dielectric heating uh, it is called high frequency capacitive heating and is used for heating insulators remember this type of used heating method can be used for only insulators that the other method that the resistant furnace can be melt uh, metal but this method only to use heating insulators like wood plastic ceramic etc these are this is very important this method can be heated easily and uniformly easily and uniformly method for heating uniformly that the for example that the biscuit baking there are if you are use other method for that the biscuit appearance is bad that the that if you use that the dielectric heating that the biscuit manufacturers most of them are using dielectric heating and also example for plywood manufacturing that the want to uh, before plywood produce that the uh, glue apply to the wood piece and get together and heated heated uniformly uniform this method can be used the another important factor supply frequency required for dielectric heating between 10 to 50 megahertz remember that the frequency is very high 10 to 50 megahertz and apply voltage is up to 20 kb that the, this is very efficiency method now i am going to uh, discuss about the this the, uh, example uh, this the method for example this the high frequency supply high frequency supply and this is this this is plate conductor plate upper and below then the two plate like a capacitor then put in the uh, if you want to heat heated material can be put in the middle of the plate and apply high frequency signal to heat heated uh, this is the principle of the you know the ordinary capacitor that the connected across the AC supply the draw current which lead voltage angle 5 little less than 90 degrees little less, less than 90 degrees that the as the uh, theoretically theoretically 
we can consider for the apply voltage is uh, the AC that the uh, normal supply frequency these losses are negligible negligible that the you know the any electric ma machines use uh, uh, capacitor this capacitor little bit heat that it is very negligible but we apply between about uh, higher frequency for example 50 megahertz that the dielectric losses are very high dielectric losses are very high and the heat of this material we put uh, wood or any other insulating material we want to this is the upper plate and you know there are two plates that they like a capacitor and uh, this current draw that the IC IR these are the two current uh, passing through the uh, circuit for the this is the vector diagram vector diagram of there are this is the I and I C and I R this vector can be pointed out the main vector I this is the and the finally we can uh, we can uh, we can give the equation about the heat loss P equal to phi f c v square what is this the uh, this is the equation for the heat p means power now yeah we want to discuss about the what are the advantages about the dielectric heating are with the then that the uniform heating uniform heating that the uniform heating for the capacity that the capacity resistant or dielectric heating then the all the plate area the insulating material heated uniformly it is very important factor then the heating become faster second one the second advantage heating become faster very fast with increasing frequency increasing frequency number three if you if you want to control the temperature we can easy to control the frequency number three uh, it is only method for heating bad conductors it is very important one for industrial sector if you want to heat in bad conductors like wood like plastic such a things can be easy to heat only method there are other method cannot apply for example for resistant heating cannot apply those things number four uh, Heating is faster in this method of heating, very fast. It is very take like microwave oven. Microwave oven take very little time, or one minute or two minutes. Then no uh, delay. They are very important for it. 
eating fast this method eating number 5 no naked flame no naked flame there is no flame that process then inflammable article like plastic wood can be produced can be heated safely this material can be heated safely number six eating can be stopped immediately then the switch off that the heating planter will shut down very simple but the other compared to other very other heating method or like resistant heating there is if we shut down but the heat is remaining several uh, several hours but in this method stop the heating immediately uh, stop <coughs> these are the what are the application about the next one we are going to discuss about the application of dielectric heating uh, for manufacturing multi-layer plywood boards remember then baking and of sand core sand core for the manufacturing or metal we use the sand core used to mold in process uh, number three preheating of plastic compound before sending to the molding section for drying uh, for for baking biscuit and cake etc baker with the help of automatic machines baking biscuit and cake for electronic sign plastic garment uh, like uh, rain coat which help to call roller and fed with high frequency supply for removal moisture from oil dimension that is an important one that the removal moisture from oil you know the transformer oil that sometimes it include for impurities like uh, water then easy to remove remove the then uh, for the book binding purpose drying the glue used to book book winding today uh, we finish goodbye